Hello and welcome to Green Hill Garage. <clears throat> Today's video, we've got the uh, 2000 Polaris 700. I still have no idea if it's an RMK or an XC. I uh, haven't had time to look at the uh, VIN and determine if it was or not. But if someone could figure that out and they know what it is, then let me know in the comments. Uh, but today, we got, looks like about four inches of snow. Uh, which for Colorado, it's a lot of snow. So we're gonna go ahead, fire the uh, old snowmobile up, and go take it for a spin. Uh, I've never driven a snowmobile before. I've seen it a lot on videos and whatnot. This is my first snowmobile. So we're gonna go take it for a spin and see how it drives. Okay guys, I uh, got it started. I uh, got my earplugs in, so I may sound a little off. Um, yesterday I pulled the seat off. Uh, it still needs recovered. Um, basically it's all soaked, so I put the seat inside so that it can kind of dry off. So we'll just drive around with no seat. I'm not going to do anything crazy, but it's got a safety switch that doesn't allow the RPM to actually read if the seat's disconnected. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, it's got some wires here. I uh, disconnected these when the seat came off. So we got enough fuel. Uh, Let's go take it for a spin. Alrighty guys, uh, we're gonna go ahead. I'll see if I can get the camera set up and we'll go just drive around here. We got our little field. It's got enough snow in it. I feel fine that the tracks and uh, skis won't get torn up. There's not many rocks out here. So I'll get the camera set up and we'll start driving. really does need two hands. Uh, it's pretty fun. Uh, I've never driven one before. It's crazy fast. I have no idea that these things were as quick as they are. So I will get TA and we'll start filming again.
Okay, so we had lots of fun ripping it around. Uh, what I did notice though, and I guess you probably can see this, is this front right coil is way too soft. Uh, I think it's just an adjustment on a screw. So we're gonna have to tension that up a little tighter because this thing really badly wants to go to the right. Uh, not turn to the right, but fall to the right. As far as uh, tracking goes, I think it's doing pretty good. Um, yesterday, uh, we pulled, we just had to pull this bolt here and knock this rod out because it was completely rusted stuck. So uh, that was all we did there and I put marine grease in it. And there's a hole right there. And uh, that hole, I think at one point there was supposed to have been a grease zerk there, but there isn't a grease zerk anymore. So uh, yeah, it just gets water in it. So I put marine grease. I've always found marine grease to be very good at resisting water. I think it's even rated for salt water, the marine grease I have. Uh, so anyway, I put marine grease in both of them. It turns fine. Um, I'm still, I'm like I said, I'm just a first time rider with a snowmobile. Don't really know what I'm doing as far as turning with any kind of speed, so I just don't. Just take it easy. What I did not realize is that coolant actually flows through this foot rest here. I had no idea that they made such a thing. On ATV, this would never work because it's not cold enough, but on a snowmobile, you're always in the cold, and so it works just fine. Um, next thing I guess that I probably need for it before I ever did anything more jiggy would be to uh, rig up a bungee cord somehow. This key doesn't pull out, so uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna rig up a bungee cord. I'm sure someone else has got a YouTube video on it. So I'll probably have to go hunt around, figure out how to do that because uh, bungee cord is definitely needed. This sled uh, speedometer wasn't working, but I'm pretty certain I got to almost 50 or 60 on a straight line going up that field. Uh, it's much faster than any of the ATVs I've ever driven and much quicker too. 700 cc twin cylinder really gets out and goes. Uh, so this will be all for this video. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, check out our video where we got this snowmobile running. Check out our other videos on the channel. Uh, leave a like uh, so that this will get more views. Uh, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And you all have a great day.